citing some of his influences. And one of the things that I've gotten into now, it's kind of, once you buy a print, at least for me, um, I, I, it's, a, it's a web. You start learning about one artist, and you learn about that artist, and you learn about another artist, and then it just kind of grows. It's frightening. It's like a monster, but yeah. <laughs> um, so this piece um, is uh, a baby bird. I think it's a robin, but it's almost identical to a print by another artist, which is, this is, uh, uh, so it says, after uh, Charles E. Heil. Heil was a really well-known bird artist um, and did a lot of these little baby bird prints. And so I've been researching Heil. So um, the other thing about this print, this I think was a $25 eBay purchase by my son. Um, it came in looking like a $5 eBay purchase. <laughs> um, it had um, a lot of light burn and a fair amount of foxing on it. And so I brought this piece in, and, and I had it treated, and you can barely see some stains on the right-hand um, side where the print mark is, where the plate mark is, um, but otherwise it came out pretty nicely. So, who as I think, who cleaned it? Um, American Legacy uses someone in Wichita, I think. I don't know. I just said, help me fix it, and they did. 